Greetings, salutations, guys. Here and welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? We're just all doing fantastic. Today we are in the city of Santa Ana, and we're at the Goodwill on Grand. If you guys want to come check it out, uh, tell them Adrian sent you. But let's go inside and see what we can find. I'm really excited. Also, I'm like really red. Also, it's raining. It's yeah. Okay, let's go inside. All right. This is what the Goodwill looks like. Go inside and see what we can find. Let's see what baggy bags look. <laughs> it's like a fake Birkin and it has little crystals. Birkins never have a zipper, okay? Um, but this is the Carla Mancini. It's honestly like kind of a vibe, like it's kind of cute. Like right? Oh my gosh, it's. I don't know. I actually think it's kind of kind of cute. I actually think it's leather too. Is Carla, are Carla Mancini bags leather? Maybe. Who knows? I think I will. Okay, I just found this super cutest little lounge fly Hello Kitty wallet. It still has a little tag on it too. It's so adorbs. So I think we'll get that. Oh, I like this. Um. <gasps> This is a vintage coach, but all the sides are torn. I love this style too, I think it's so cute. It's only $5.99 though, should I just get it anyway? I feel like someone might still like it, but I don't know. Made in United States, but look at that. I mean like you could probably like fill it in and stuff, but this part right there, that's totally gone. Like, you might still be able to patch it up a little bit, but you're not going to be able to get this same match of the leather. I mean, you could dye it black. Should I just get it and turn it into, like, a project practice bag? It's only $5.99. Maybe I will just get it. It's kind of interesting. Also, I saw this, and I was like, this is leather, but I don't think the rest of it's leather. So I feel like that's deceptive. <laughs> or is it leather? It reminds me of, like, a, um... What's her name? A Claire Vivier kind of style bag, but yeah. Ooh, okay, we got a little bench. This is a, a Studio Mickey one for Target. But this one has seen better days. Oh, it has some clear chairs. I remember how obsessed I was with clear chairs at one point in my life. Like, I really wanted clear chairs. Um, now is not that moment, though. These are like kind of beat up. But $14.99 each. Not bad. I feel like um, sometimes these are pretty expensive. But they have a bunch of chairs, some outdoor furniture. Oh, this is this display thing. Wow. Look at that. They still have the seagrass chair. That's the Pottery Barn chair right there. It's been here for the longest. I feel like it's been here for a while. Oh, uh, this console's interesting. Oh, there's a little lighter inside of it. I like the color of this table. It's $20. Shoe rack. Oh, this is very, like, 90s. There's an espresso maker right here. It's only 20 bucks. And it has a little frother, too. Cool, I wonder if it still works. That's actually really cheap for this whole little setup too. But I don't need another Nespresso maker, but they're fantastic. We love Nespresso. This is an interesting little pot. Look at that. Their store is a little empty. Any glassware today? These are really heavy. Macy's, Louvine, kind of looks like a um, Goyard, right? Oh, I guess this is like a set, they all like, kind of match. Oh, this Starbucks coffee cup is actually really cute. San Diego. Oh, and there's this one too. I'm considering this, it's really cute, I just love 
the picture on it. So maybe. Okay, I was looking at the inside of the cup. It looks like it got cracked inside. It's not cracked on the outside, but like the inner barrel portion. So we're gonna put this back. Oh, I saw some iridescent cup looking cups back there, but no. Okay. We have all of those already done. Oh, look at that. I like that little girl um, cookie thing. Wine stash girls night. Oh, this is kind of cute. <laughs> Ooh, I think this is like kitchen. I don't know. I feel like they sell this at Williams Sonoma. And Star Wars, maybe. $1.99. Darth Vader. Oh, which is brew. That's kind of cute. Okay, someone like donated all of them, all the way done <laughs> to the store. Oh my gosh, how cute are these? Oh, <laughs> I love them. They're from like the five dollar section somewhere. Target? No, those aren't the Target stickers. Um, Oh, it's cracked. You guys, look at these cute little lighthouse things. How fun. It's like different lighthouses. Uh, $1.99. These are Crate and Barrel. They're like different colors. Ooh, how cute are these? False graph. <gasps> oh, look at these. These are cool. It's like bubble. Interesting. Okay, I don't really see too much. In the store, I feel like they're um, doing spring cleaning or something. Pioneer Woman. Is this more way done? It is. How cute are these little guys? <laughs> oh my gosh, how cute are these? A stiff drink unravels the best written mystery. Oh, penguins! Pottery Barn. Oh, hold on, let's look at the other ones. Uh, this penguin is drunk. Roger refuses to hide his light something. Oh, his light under a lampshade. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. And then this one skating on something. The nice. And down, down, down we go. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Hey guys, I can see we are back at the house and I'm super, super excited to show you guys what we ended up getting today from the thrift. Because it was like a very like random trip. I got some like, okay, let me just show you guys what I ended up getting. So they had so many of these hair extension things. And I think these are those like halo ones or whatever. They're just like a piece of hair extension and attached to like one of those clear bands or whatever you put on your head. I got it kind of like as a gag gift for my mom. And this was only five dollars. So I was like, why not? These things are usually so expensive. I don't know if this will match her hair. It probably won't. But I mean, I don't think you can dye either because I don't think they're they're definitely probably not real hair. But I think you can dye them with dye, like fabric dye for like synthetic fabrics or something. So I don't know. We will see. I mean, even just for for kicks, for laughs, it'll be fun. It might match my sister's hair, maybe. I feel like no, maybe it's still too light. I don't know. My my mom's the color that I use on my mom's hair is lighter than my sister's actual hair color. So anyway, I thought this would be funny to get. Who, like I, I've seen like wigs and stuff at thrift stores before, but I've never seen like brand new in box like stuff like this. So I just got it. I thought it was funny. So I picked that up. Five bucks. Then I got this is super duper cute. This is a brand new with tag Hello Kitty Lounge Fly wallet. And Hello Kitty is kind of like a like a bandit or something. Uh <laughs> It's so cute, like the tags are still attached, it's really fun. The only thing is, there's like some damage right here, like I think it's like the pleather is just peeling. And I actually think I'm just going to try to peel off as much of it as I can. And then I'm just going to paint it in with acrylic paint, I think it's going to look fine. Um, we'll see how it looks though. But I got this, this was $5.99, like honestly it's like brand new. Like I don't think this has ever been used, I think like it just started peeling, which tends to happen to synthetic fabrics. But I looked at the inside, the inside is in like no peeling or anything of the interior this is all just pleather also so i think it's really just like that little mask area and i think just a little bit of leather paint is gonna fix that up just some acrylic leather paint i think it'll be fantastic so i got that then 
Oh, this is really cool. Okay, this, I, I think I might turn this into a project for myself. I don't know if anyone wants to see um, me try to fix it. But this is a vintage coach bag. This is made in USA. I love this collection with this particular lock closure. I think it's really, really cool. It, you pull this, it's kind of like a reverse button. So you like, you pull it and then it releases the snap right there. And the leather on this is so nice. Like I love the color, but it has damage. It has lots of rubbing on the corners. Um, on the back, there's two like torn areas to the piping. And I'm gonna, I have this product, like a leather filler. And I wanna see if I can just like fill in the leather and like mend it with that and see how it turns out. And then I think I'm just gonna dye the whole thing black. Cause if you dye things black, it kind of like will cover up all of the repair stuff. And um, you'll still kind of get like the natural look of the leather, but it's just gonna be dyed black. I'll probably, um, I'll see how well, I think you can use dye on leather filler and see how that looks. Otherwise I can just fill it in with black paint and then it'll just be in those back corners. Oh, and there is like a little bit of damage right there too. But this, you can use glue and then it It'll look, I probably won't have to actually use leather filler in there. Um, I'll use like glue and then that'll be okay. Cause that just kind of tore. But the, these pieces back here are like gone. Like the pieces are actually fallen off. Uh, but this is only $6. So I thought uh, either I can use it as like a little project bag to try some stuff on or I can sell it and see if any of you guys would like to try your hand at fixing it. I know a lot of you guys are also very, very good at repairing handbags, so got that. Then, I think this is the last thing that I got. Oh no, wait, this is that actually from that store. So that was actually the last thing, I am just kidding. That was for a different haul, sorry about that. But hope you guys had fun checking out the store with me and seeing what I got. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow, bright and early at 7 a.m. for a new video. Check out the schedule for the live sales. They're always so much fun. I love seeing you guys in there and chatting with all of you. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, bye guys. Bye guys.